Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front strut on a Tesla Model 3. This here we have a 2018 model year, and this is an all-wheel drive. So, in order to replace the front, to remove the front strut for these uh, four-wheel drive models, you would have to disconnect the upper control arm right here. You have the bolt that goes right through here. You get that loose and remove it. Then you will be able to. Uh, lift that up. Uh, the first thing you need to do before you do anything is uh, this uh, ABS wire right here. You just unhook it there and there. Here it comes right off uh, because once you disconnect this you don't want to put any stress on this wire. So take that off first and then take off this bolt right here and that will allow you to drop the uh, whole steering knuckle right here down. Now um, the other thing that you do want to do is you have this bolt right down here at the bottom. Um, this bolt that uh, secures it to the lower control arm. Uh, you want to remove that as well. Here we have the sway bar link. Um, the sway bar link it has a nut. If it does, uh, the nuts, if it starts to spin, you can hold the center there with a Torx, uh, Torx bit and then once that does come loose uh, you pull it out now you'd be pulling that out before you get the upper part loose so um one way it will still be tight to pull this straight back but what you'll do is you can put a little lever right there and then push down on the sway bar link uh, on the sway bar itself here and that will allow you to pull the sway bar link back now let's come to the top and that is where you remove the three bolts before you can pull this out. So right here we have the top. Uh, in order to access it, you have to remove all these um, uh, panels. Uh, we have the step-by-step -step guide that you should uh, look at those steps and see what you need to do. Uh, but as an overview, you have these one, two, three bolts here. Uh, you would need a really thin wall, 13 millimeter socket. If it's too thick, um, it's not going to fit in these holes. These holes are too small for a uh, standard 13 millimeter socket, but um, you can do that and then you'll be able to get to those nuts. And then you remove the nuts and that will allow you to come down here and then you'll be able to push down on this and also push up on the upper control arm and you'll have enough room here to get this. It'll be a little bit tricky to get the upper part but uh, you, you just lift this up enough. Uh, maybe put on a screwdriver the, between the two and lifting that up helps a little bit. And then you'll be able to remove it. The installation is in reverse. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you wanna, when you jack up the vehicle, you wanna make sure to use the adapters so you're not damaging the uh, hybrid battery. And you also wanna uh, secure the vehicle with uh, jack stands in addition to the jack. Uh, that's it, make sure to follow our step-by-step instructions for more helpful tips. Thank you for watching.